Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, our weekend was pretty nice across the area. We had temperatures in the 70s today. We actually have some warmer temperatures on the way for our Monday. So we're looking at a summer like feel potentially across some of the areas for tomorrow afternoon. Here's, of course, Providence seeing the dry conditions now and temperatures are cooling off a bit as we go later in the night. You can see the temperatures now in the 40s in Smithfield, but still holding on to those 50s from Providence down towards Newport, New Bedford. And again, these temperatures will all be falling back into the 40s overnight and into the morning hours tomorrow. Live radar, nice and quiet as we like it, not tracking anything out there in terms of any rainfall. However, for Monday, seeing an elevated fire risk because we have such dry conditions, some gusty breezy winds tomorrow, factor that in with low humidity as well, and that's a recipe for uh, potential fires to develop, brush fires, and uh, you know, be careful with that open uh, fire burning outside uh, next couple of days with that threat there. Three key things, dry and cool tonight, much warmer for Monday. Again, temperatures approaching potentially the upper 70s to near 80 for some locations, and it won't last long though. In that seven day forecast, we're going to be seeing some much cooler temperatures arrive as we go into the end of the week. Satellite and radar. This is the weather setup. Pretty straightforward for us. Dry conditions thanks to high pressure really dominating the, the uh, weather across the entire eastern seaboard and much of the eastern half of the country. So that just means it keeps all the storms away and gives us those dry and comfy conditions, but also warms things up as well. So we can time things out overnight. Here's 11 p.m. Again, seeing those clear skies taking us into the morning hours on Monday. A kind of a cool start at 6 a.m. Seeing some 40s around there, but again, this won't last long once the sun gets up. That'll warm things up pretty nicely through the mid morning hours. 11 a.m. Seeing some upper 60s to near 70 and watch what happens in the afternoon. Those temperatures get again well into the 70s and even towards 80 degrees in some locations during the uh, mid afternoon hours. So a very nice day overall. Lots of sunshine expected from start to finish. And then as we go into the evening hours and nighttime hours, we do cool off a little bit back down uh, into the 50s. Now for Monday morning's forecast, heading out to work and school, got a cool, cool start giving way to some warm temperatures by noontime in the 70s. Afternoon forecast looking just fine. Upper 70s to near 80 across interior sections. Coastal areas may be a touch cooler, but still uh, very nice no matter where you are. Shifting gears now to the tropics for Oscar, seeing winds of 75 miles per hour, still a category one storm impacting Cuba, moving southwest about six miles per hour. And actually with Oscar, this system is going to be staying over land for a little bit longer, so it'll continue to weaken and then it'll move back over the open waters, impact some of the Bahamas as well before it moves back over into the Atlantic. And what that will do is it'll keep it away from us and away from the eastern seaboard. So some good news there with Oscar. It should continue to weaken and move away from our area. Here's that seven day forecast for you, though. Not a whole lot to talk about for this week. Relatively quiet, taking us uh, into the next several days. Again, 70s through about Wednesday. Notice the temperature change, though. We're going to have some uh, breezy conditions with a little frontal system nearby. Some cooler air works in for later Thursday and for especially Friday and Saturday. Much cooler temperatures, high temperatures at that, only going to be in the 50s. So again, quite the change just uh, during this week in terms of temperature, kind of roller coaster uh, like that with those warm temperatures on Monday and Tuesday and then dropping off back into the 50s. But some very nice weather the next several days. Hopefully people can get outside and enjoy it. Yeah, I should say so even looking ahead to next week and I know that's a pivotal weekend for mm -hmm. a lot of trunk or treat events or fall festivals. And so the fact that you have cool and dry there I know is making yes. a lot of planners happy right now. Our average high temperature is about 63 degrees. So notice how we don't really get close to that until the middle part of the week. Okay. So. Looking good, Stephen. Thanks so much. Next in sports, playing 